In Tallahassee, I got to spend a couple days with my brother's family. They were great hosts, and I spent quality time with my adorable niece and nephew. From there, I headed up to Georgia to check out some more awesome wildlife. I don't know if I'm going to get along with this guy. He doesn't like water? What? So we're in this old trailer, and we've got we found we turned up a couple snakes. Now, admittedly, I didn't find either of these. Josh did, but he doesn't want to be on camera. So I'm going to tell you about these awesome little snakes. So if they're still, they're hoping that I'm just going to walk away and leave them alone. If I touch them, they'll start to wiggle like crazy. But um, this is the ringneck snake and the red belly snake, both awesome little animals, and of course they're completely harmless. But as I go across the U.S. on my trip. We'll be finding different variations, especially of the ring neck. Out in California, they have a type that's very bright. So it'd be really awesome if I could find one out there. So this trailer, turns out there's more bounty than just snakes. I found an unopened container of cinnamon and an unopened container of vanilla. So why shouldn't I keep these? I honestly can't think of any reason not to keep it. So I'm just gonna keep them just in case. <laughs> this. I'm breaking the seal for the first time. Ah, oh, it smells so good. I might have to swing by here later and pillage a little bit more. We got a transformer coming down the road here. So this is the craziest thing in the world. This is a mud snake. They're pretty common snakes but you don't find them a lot and you never find them at three o'clock in the afternoon when it's blazing hot. The road is so hot, it's burning my feet when I stand on it. That's how hot it is. I don't know if he has like some mental issues or something, because that's not a smart thing for a snake like this to do. Generally, they're very nocturnal. They just don't come out during the day. So for this guy to be coming across a road in the middle of the day is just weird. This is just a very bizarre thing to happen. This is such a beautiful snake. The belly's got the red stripes and the deep black shiny scales on the back. And what's awesome about this snake is they never, ever, ever bite. If you can get one of these to bite you, you're doing something crazy. But what they do is they poke you with that tail. But the tail is not sharp at all. I mean, it's a little bit pointy and you can feel it, but it's not something that's going to even think about breaking the skin. So the only logical thing to do with this snake is to release it on the other side of the road in the direction that it was going. But nevertheless, I'm glad it was out during the day. And um, I can appreciate this animal's beauty because this is an exceptionally beautiful animal right here. Really good at almost falling. All right, so we're just gonna take this, this mud snake across the road and put him down here by this water where um, hopefully it doesn't get hit by any cars. So we'll just let him slither on in.